G'day and welcome to another tutorial on how to edit Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders so you can get the rain particles back into your game. Now as you're about to see, this is what you'll be expecting to get once you do this edit. It's not 100% perfect, but it's probably the best that you're going to be able to come up with. This way it doesn't actually break any of the shaders or any of the coding within the shaders so you still get all your fog and no errors occur. This is what it looks like of a night time. Now there are a couple of ways you can edit this. This is the most recommended one. Now if you want it to look a lot more predominant have a looking like this, which looks really nice during the daytime, but there is a bit of a bug with it when it comes to the nights. As you can see, the rain is really only visible on top of blocks that are within your vicinity. Basically, the rain disappears up into the sky, and personally, I reckon it looks pretty awful. Now there is one other option that you can take, which is this one. Now this one basically looks good whether it's day or night, but it more or less looks like lines cutting through the fog than rain, and it's more often the distance than near you. But over night time, it is probably a bit easier to navigate with the rain looking like this as opposed to either this one or this one this one I'd only recommend for daytime use as when you're inside your house it's a lot easier to see the rain falling outside of your windows as opposed to this one, which you can see. Alright, now once you've actually opened up into your shader, I'll be using 10.1 Preview as an example. Go into your shaders, you want to edit your weather.fsh and your weather F uh, vsh. Now the lines that we're going to be editing this is a comparison of my already edited one. Is these lines of code just here. Now if you want the rain to look extremely strong, you need to be putting a 1 in all of these. Now this line up here, this actually controls the strength of the rain. Meaning that if you put it as one, you probably won't be able to see more than like half a centimeter in front of you. I recommend having it at 0 0.04 as what you've seen before. Now, if you want it to look, in my personal opinion, the best, you want to keep this one at 0 0.6. Now, if you want the rain at more of a distance and a lot more see through, you leave all those as zero and just change that. This is what I would recommend for the best looking, in my opinion. Alright, so once you've made those slight changes, hit save. Now, there's this line of code here is what you need to delete, otherwise, you're going to get this little bug, which I'll show you. Alright, once back in Minecraft, select the shader. And this is the bug that you encounter if you do not delete that bit of code in your weather.vsh. As you can see, the rain goes straight through the sword or any block that you are holding. 
The other thing that you'll notice is any blocks closer to the rain will break through it. And if we go inside the house, you'll notice that the rain is now actually going through the blocks and still through my hand. So if you're experiencing that bug, then you most likely haven't deleted that little line of code. Which is this line just here. So what we have to do is highlight it and get rid of it. Click save and that's it. All done. Just a reminder, that one there controls the strength of the rain. This one here controls the colours of it. Now if you want it to be completely white, be 1.0. Uh, remember there's a bug though during the night time, so this is what I would recommend keeping it at. Now once you're back in Minecraft, select your shader, and if all has gone well, you should have your rain looking just like this. As you can see, the rain's not breaking through any of the blocks once you deleted that little line of code. And just to show you again what it looks like over night time. So, thanks all for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.